Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme, and in this video, I will discuss the B problem. So, before starting this video, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button because majority of my viewers have not subscribed to my channel, and it doesn't cost you anything, but it will help me a lot. So, let's first read the problem statement. You are given two permutations A and B of length n. A permutation is an array of n elements from one to n where all the elements are distinct. Uh, you can choose two indices a and i and j and swap a i and j with a j and b i with, with b j simultaneously you hit inversion so you want to minimize the total number of inversion in both the permutations i mean in this the test case are pretty simple so let's just uh, move on to the approach so in this question what i observed was that we have two permutations a and b okay so if i sort this array a completely if i do a dot sort so my one array is already sorted and accordingly I will make the permutation B and if that happens then I can at least reduce the number of uh, inversions in one array to zero and then the number of uh, inversions in this array can be something and my claim is that uh, this is the minimum that I can get and and I will not be able to get anything less than this so and that was my claim and I have not actually yet proved this um, but it kind of gave me a, a correct answer so right now I don't have the proof of this but uh, it worked for me. Um, sorry about that, that, I don't have the proof, but uh, let's see the implementation and I will code this in C++. Okay, so first we have the solve function and uh, let's see int n and let's take the array input and b of n okay and instead of taking b of n like this, what I can do is uh, first I can take n plus 1 elements and instead like this I will take b of a of i instead. Okay, now uh, my first array I will just sort, sort it right. So I can say for uh, i in range 1 to n, see out i with a space and slash n if i equals equals n. And then I can say for i, see out b of i. Uh, C out B of I. Mm, should it be B of I? Um, I think it should be go from 1 to n only. So, with uh, space i equals to mm, with uh, this string and slash n only when i equals equals n. Now, let's run this and see what uh, is the answer that I am getting. So, we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is correct. And this is the code for the B problem. And if you were able to understand this, kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.